Namaste, welcome to day number 87 of me meditating every day for two hours and then sharing my experiences with you guys. So many times on this meditation journey, this uh, 100 day self connection experiment, I'll wake up feeling a certain way and I've learned not to judge that at all because a two hour meditation invariably always either shifts your shifts your energy or shifts your perspective of your energy and you have a so if you're if if it doesn't shift your energetic state if it doesn't shift your emotional state it will shift your mindset and your perspective of how you're perceiving your state and that's so much of this path is how how do we perceive what we're experiencing right um and this morning i had the same thing i woke up no energy flatlined like woke up a thousand years old literally a thousand years old um haven't woke up this dr- feeling just drained uh, i don't think this whole 87 day period and so i did that i woke up feeling ancient physically ancient um but i learned not to judge that state and i said well i'm there's a good chance i could be feeling totally different in two hours so i closed my eyes and listened to the silence and if there's wind right now i apologize and two hours later i was still feeling a thousand years old i was still feeling so just like uh, deactivated. You guys have, of course, you've experienced this. <laughs> we all have. Just whew, the switches were off. And this is following a night and a day where I was feeling more connected and more turned on and more connected or more um, tapped in than I had in a while. So I was like, oh, wow. And I, I tried to, it was funny to watch um, how much I was efforting to try to like summon energy. I was like, maybe if I do a solar plexus <laughs> yoga class, or maybe if I do this this breathing thing. Um, but as I was doing those things, I realized, oh, the point for today is not to work up a high vibration or work up a lot of spiritual energy. The point today is to really bask in the lowness, to really settle in to the... It's like an emptiness feeling, right, when we're deactivated. It's like, whoa, where's, 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 the, where's, the, uh, where's the juice, you know? You're just empty of juice. But I will say it's amazing how when there's spiritual work to be done, like I had a session today, boom, just like shoo, the switch is back on, pr- currents of prana are flowing, the energy's there, the heart space is wide open, session comes to an end, <laughs> back to deactivated back to being with the nothingness and nothingness is beautiful emptiness is beautiful when it's connected to this alive radiant um, loving energy right it's just really alive but the emptiness when we're kind of in the void area is a little bit more of a inconvenience for the mind it can really and the ego the ego and the mind love the emptiness with all the you know all the light and all the joy and love but the emptiness that's just empty empty that's where the ego and the mind become the most uncomfortable but that's also where they drown in a sense that's where they dissolve even more and i'm seeing that this is the gift that spirit gives us when she deactivates us She's giving us this space and this time to let the ego and the mind kind of dissipate in the emptiness, kind of dissolve in the emptiness of our being. And so today, in the middle of a, I didn't even honestly start the breathing exercise, because right when I was starting, I was just like, I could just feel in my body like, no, this, this, isn't, this isn't the point today. 
And so I even cut the yoga short and I was like, you know, today is a day to just sit with the emptiness, to just sit and accept this, um, this lower state of energy. And so I figured it was a great day to go out and really connect with the trees and the forest and to let the forest just hold me and to connect with Gaia, to see what Gaia has to say. And I can feel in Gaia, I can feel in the trees and the forest that there's a change, there's a transition there's a shift occurring. And of course, we're all a part of this. And it's, it's funny, coming out to Gaia and, and into the forest, I'm realizing, oh, I'm not alone in this emptiness, in this deactivation. I can feel it all around me, too. It's almost like there's this space clearing right now. And then a deeper connection than ever, uh, more heart-filled aliveness than I've ever experienced, than we've ever experienced is coming. And my body was really pulling me here today. I didn't truly want to, didn't really feel like leaving the house, but cause I, I live in nature, right? I live in the prairie, so it's it's not hard for me to get into nature, but I don't live near big trees like this. I mean, I live near them, but I mean, I can't walk out my door and be in them. Um, so my body was just pulling me here. And then I, I got this, my tire blew out on the way here. This huge flat tire. It was a whole over an hour ordeal of changing the spare. And the one thing I'll say about meditation is I did, that didn't even bother me. I didn't even have any sort of frustration or... I was just enjoying the moment of, it was like, it was like changing the tire gave me a break from myself. And every once in a while we need a little break from ourselves on this path. Anyway, so I changed the spare, I changed to the spare and the, the force was just my body and the, it was like I was being pulled here. Not necessarily for any insight or realization, but just my energy field, my ethereal field needed to connect here. Something, I feel something needed to, like the, um, and something needed to con converge here. And so on a day like today, if you're feeling deactivated, if you're feeling in the void, if you're feeling cut off, see what your body's asking you for. Not what the mind is trying to convince you to do to get it that connection back, right? The mind tries to convince us that we need a lot of effort and struggle to like make things happen. But the truth is, the more effortless we just allow things to be, the faster things move, the more we just flow with our with our life stream, with our natural movement through life. So on a day like today, see what your body's asking you for. Is it asking to just bask in the emptiness, to connect to nature, to just listen to silence? Maybe life will orchestrate things like it did for me to give you a break from yourself because this path really is so inwardly focused and it's beautiful. I don't ever really, I never even really voluntarily take a break from myself because I, I love discovering my deeper and deeper aspects and layers of myself. This is my life. But sometimes life intervenes. Sometimes source intervenes, spirit intervenes and says, here's a little break. Here's a tire to change. Here's a, here's something that will take you outside of yourself for a moment. All right, guys, 10 minutes in. I feel good about this. I feel good um, about where, we're all, where we all are right now. I love where we all are right now. 
and it's only a sign of the beautiful things to come for all of us. Hey guys, as I was leaving where I just finished that last video, it came to me that when we're feeling spiritually deactivated, this is actually an indication that there is a deep sadness. There's a deep sadness occurring within us. And this deep sadness could be occurring because we're mourning the loss of an old self. We're mourning the loss of an old identity, an old belief system, an old pattern. And so this is like this, you have this period of time where you are just feeling into this lowness, into this um, kind of this melancholy, this sadness. And it's kind of like this newer consciousness is coming in and it's holding space for this older older pattern, older, older story, um, this, um, this older self of yours. And so it's just, it's just natural that this happens sometimes and it just needs a little bit of time to fall away. And that's why I was saying to really bask in the emptiness within, bask in this feeling of, um, this feeling of just real low energy and emptiness because this emptiness will swallow up that old self will swallow up a lot of that ego that's falling away. And that's what the space is, that's what spirit is giving you the space for, is so you can have that time um, to just let the old self fall away. And then before you know it, this newer self, or you could say this, the more of your true self emerges and you feel more connected and just um, in the, more connected and activated and just alive and loving and open than ever. So it's just important. What I really want to get across to you guys is to just not resist feeling deactivated and to not try to force yourself out of it, to just allow it to be as it is and to allow, you know, the sadness to be there. I have some, some of it today and to allow that old self to just kind of fall away. And, and that's really, um, that's really what being spiritual or feeling spiritually deactivated is is calling for. So I love you all. See you in the next video. Namaste.